Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Yahoo's breach record. I feel like I was just talking about Yahoo a few months ago when we spoke about how they lost 500 million user accounts. Well, apparently they've now learned that they actually lost 1 billion user records. And by the way, they seem to think that this is a different breach than the one they first reported. Anyways, on the 14th, Yahoo reported that they received information in November showing that they lost 1 billion user records. This includes things like your name, address, phone number, your hashed password, Word, which is only hashed with the MD5, making it pretty easy for attackers to crack, and also sometimes even your clear text answer to your security questions. So this is really a whole lot of very important information. The bad guys that have this 1 billion database can use it to crack all those MD5 hashes, or worse yet, they now have answers to your security questions, and often they can use reset mechanisms, not only on Yahoo's site, but any other site where you have this similar type of answer to actually reset your password. Anyways, I think it's clear to say that this is the biggest ever publicly known breach in history. 1 billion accounts is kind of crazy. Now, as far as what to do about this, I'm afraid I have to sound like a broken record because you heard this spiel before. But the good news is, like the other breach, the attackers seem to have stolen this data years ago, probably around 2012. So that means if you already changed your Yahoo account password when we talked about the 500 million account breach, you may be okay. In either case, if you are affected, you should get an email from Yahoo, and you should definitely change your password if you get that email. Now, more importantly, remember all the other password advice, which is don't use the same password everywhere. If you haven't already adopted uh, the strong practice of using different passwords at all your, your very important accounts, I highly recommend you do that. And really the only human way to make that easy is by using a password manager. There's many out there. I'm not going to recommend one just because uh, I don't work in that particular industry, but there's plenty that I use that work on many different platforms. On top of that, Leveraged multi-factor authentication. Any site that makes two-factor authentication available for free, you should definitely use it. One other bit of advice is do realize the answer to some of your security questions could be out there. At the very least, you definitely need to wipe and change those security questions for Yahoo, which is something I think Yahoo might be doing for you automatically. But if you use those security questions on any other sites as well, you should probably consider changing those answers as well. Anyway, it seems like yet another day, yet another breach. Of course, this is a pretty big record setting one. You know, I don't like recommending people delete their accounts at any service. However, if we don't see Yahoo significantly update their security mechanisms, especially the way they store passwords, MD5 without a salt is not acceptable anymore. Uh, I really don't know if I would recommend using your account there. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.